Lance says a user reported not receiving emails from certain domains. I traced the email and found the error, error 555.2.1 message sent for moderation by the transport rules agent. Does anybody know the cause of this error? And the answer depends that that depends entirely on the transport rule that was set up that is firing off that message. 555.2.1 basically means you've you've violated a policy, an email policy. Uh, that I would assume in this case is coming from whatever that transport rule is set up of it. And the only one who can tell you why that's that's occurring is the person who set the rule up. So you'll need to find out who set up that transport rule and ask them what it is it's supposed to protect against. And from that point, then perhaps you can uh, go back and, and look at the email itself and determine how it how it's in violation of that of that policy. Um, that has uh, th there have been some reports of those from <coughs> emails sent from uh, at least from what I've been reading in the uh, in the news groups. There's there's been some cases where Gmail has not been accepting stuff from Microsoft, except it's Microsoft transports that are outside of the United States, other countries. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and uh, as to the exact resolution of that is, I again, there's there's no particular way of telling. Yeah. Uh, is this also in this case, it was Gmail that was that was that was doing it, and I I have no idea what Gmail policy it might not have been happy with. Yeah. Would this also you get this receive this error if um, certain of those those domains were. It's interesting that it's coming from multiple domains, and if they're legitimate messages coming across, maybe those domains were somehow blacklisted for some reason. There was some kind of promotional material, and you know, yeah, yeah blacklisting is a poly is 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 a is a concern that actually comes up kind of frequently. Um, um, the other thing, if they were sending emails, they might. They might get this this response if they're sending it to a, an email box that doesn't exist or has been uh, set up not to accept email for some odd reason. Um, mm -hmm. Again, it's it's hard to say. It's a it's a kind of a nebulous rule. Well, we've got a link below how I think you provided this, which is a, an older article by uh, Paul Cunningham out on Practical 365 how to tell which transport rule was applied to an email message, which yes. can help go through that process. Yes, that was what I had found out when I was off searching that, researching that particular error. And uh, that hopefully will be in a position to tell you what's, what policy is being violated by these people. Straight to jail. Don't break the rules, people. It's not Straight worth it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. <laughs> That's right.